But Manhattan still needs one more shot from her or somebody else here in the final 23.6. They advance into the front court for the inbounds. And here's Davis with Carpell right on her. And we'll see when Manhattan goes and how Fordham reacts to the high screen. And you gotta wonder, will the Rams double on that screen and when will they send the double? Here it comes, there goes Downey, here comes Carpell. Loose ball, Jeremiah takes off. Three, two, one, for the win! A steal and a hoop and a survival. There are six tenths of a second on the clock. So hold on for now, but how about this? They finally get some D, and Jeremiah the finish. And Andrew, I, I said right before then, when will the Rams send that double team off that pick and roll? Downey comes, hedges aggressively, Carpell comes in, and off that spin, Carpell's able to lodge that ball free. And how about Kendall Jeremiah with time ticking, getting to the Baja, getting the lay in to go. Makala will throw in with DeWolf in her face. Who's gonna come free? They throw it towards the rim. Nobody touched it. Nobody touched it. Rams are celebrating. I early called Jeremiah's hoop as the game ender. Now Fordham's gonna go back to their bench. No one touched the basketball, so the clock should not have started. However, it'll be Fordham basketball. Carpell's just got to get it in. She does to DeWolf, and now they can celebrate inside the Rose Hill Gym. A 65-63 escape over the Jaspers. Tenth consecutive win in the series for Fordham. But one steal and one hoop at the perfect time get the Rams the win. Yeah, at the end of the day, this team hangs their hat on the defensive end. And when they needed a stop, they got the double, forced the turnover from D.D. Davis. And Kendall Jeremiah gets the game-winning lay-in. But the Fordham Rams prevail right here as that double, D.D. Davis loses it. And Kendall Jeremiah right there. And with perhaps the most nerve-wracking layup of her career, gets it to go, and that is ultimately the difference in what was a competitive, fiery game between the Rams and the Jaspers. She almost timed it perfectly. <laughs> she almost laid it in with no time left. Six tenths were still on the clock. Manhattan had one more inbounds, couldn't connect. Rams got it in safely, and they get the win 